Can you beat Elden Ring using only gravity magic? To start this runoff, we need to get the meteorite staff and our first gravity spell. But first, we need to get Torrent. We also need to have an int level of 18 to even use the staff. Now we can get eaten by this chest. Oh no! So to help me during this challenge, I have made a set of notes. These notes will make sure that I do not miss anything. Now that we have everything that we need, we can finally take on Margit. Because the meteorite staff cannot be upgraded, this means that we can save a lot of runes and a lot of time during this run. Ah, the fight with Margit was very intense. However, I got the hang of things very quick, except when this happened. Oh, we have no more. Oh! Oh my god, we have no more. Oh, what do you do in that situation? Come on, this is it. Yeah, let's go. Now we can spend all the runes that we got. Okay, the first talisman on our list is the Ritual Swords Talisman. This talisman, however, is located in Lane Dell, so we will have to get both halves of the Dectus Medallion. On the way to the Lando lift, there is another gravity spell located in the Carrion Manor. This spell is called the Meteorite spell. But first, we must fight Loretta. The spell is located inside this Evergold. Once we defeat the boss, we can get our new spell. Yeah, this spell kind of disappointed me. Alright, so now we can make our way to Lane Dell finally. We need to head over to the Lux Ruins. After beating the boss inside, we can get our Ritual Swords Talisman. And we should also buy another memory stone just so we can have more slots for our future spells. Now we can take on Godric. Godric was definitely the easiest boss I have faced so far. He did not really close the gap between us so I could just attack him from far and finish him off with ease. So within Raya Lucaria, we have our next gravity spell, it is called Gravity Well. To get this, you have to defeat one of the enemies within the area. Gravity Well doesn't seem too bad, but I don't know how it will work against the real bosses. So we have all seen the NPC that you have to fight before you can actually go into the boss room to fight Ranala. And for some reason, this NPC was giving me a lot of trouble. The first phase of Ranala's boss fight was so frustrating. Literally trying to use the magic and take out all of her minions that were controlling her shield and then trying to use it against her and then trying to save my FP. There was just so much I had to deal with. Now once we finally got around Ranala's first phase, we can now take on her second stage. And the damage we were doing was really really good. 
Oh, finally. Our next gravity spell is located in Kaelid, but we must defeat Radan first, which is of course no easy task. So I have come to a dilemma. I don't know if I should use the summons. I don't know, is it considered cheating? For me, I'd say it's not really cheating in a way, but I used it anyway. I'm sorry if it is cheating, but yeah, let's carry on. Oh yes, we got him. So now that Radon is defeated, we can head over to this tunnel area. Within the tunnel area is our next gravity spell called the Collapsing Star spell. Now this spell might be very useful. It might be the best spell we have got so far. Now we need to pick up the next two talisman on our list. The first one is the Radagon Icon Talisman. This talisman makes spell casting a little bit faster, which will be useful later on in the game. To be honest, I can't really see a difference in the speed, but we'll carry on anyways. Now just nearby the lift when you enter lane Dell, there is another talisman that we need called Godfrey's icon. So this talisman enhances charge spells and attacks which we will need for certain gravity spells. There's no surprise that Godric is here. Go. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go. Now Godfrey, he was definitely one of the tougher ones. I always say Godfrey is definitely up there for the toughest Elden Ring bosses. He's just very fast and mobile and just hits like a truck. Oh, now it's time for the final one, which is Morgoth. This fight had a lot of dodging, a lot of running around because Morgoth is a problem. His AOE abilities, they are very difficult to deal with, especially as a mage. But with a couple rock slings, he was defeated. Now, before we can take on the fire giant, I have to collect the final spell and the final talisman. They are both located in the consecrated snow fields, so we must get both halves of the Halic Tree medallion. The final spell is located right here, but to get it, we have to defeat Astel. One more hit, one more hit. Yes, sir. Now for the final talisman. This talisman is called the Graven Mass Talisman, which is located in this area right here. What the talisman does is it greatly raises potency of sorcery, which will be useful. To add the final spell, we must remove a couple other spells because this spell takes up two slots. So we will be left with only three gravity spells, which shouldn't be too bad. This fight, as expected, was very tough. Gravity magic was not helping at all. You know, my damage was pretty low.
It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Yes, sir. That was way too difficult. So during this fight, I realized that my floss were not giving me enough health. I just realized my health potions don't even heal too much. And then I realized that I did not grab any sacred tears. So now I have to go and grab some and then come back to this fight. Let's try again. Oh no, he's right next to me. Oh, he was right next to me. Oh, that's damage. Oh. Oh, we got one of them. Oh lord. Ah, uh, his ability is the most annoying. But he rolls. No! I think the other one's back. Yup, he's back. Last one, last one. Show yourself. This is it. Yeah! Yeah, buddy. That's what I like to see. Let's go. Let's go. So now with the runes that we are getting, we have reached the cap for intelligence. So any runes that we get, we'll just put it into anything else. It doesn't really matter at this point. All right, we have this tree sentinel in our way. Let's take him out real quick. Let's go! Oh my god. The Maliketh fight was too much. It was too much for me. Even in his first phase, the first phase it was just difficult because he's just so fast. And his second stage, he was way too quick for any spell that I had. Oh my goodness. Why not? Oh, run out of endurance. Oh. Oh yes! Can you even use Rock Sling? Oh my god, he's not gonna let me. Oh my god! Oh, get lost. Oh yes, this is it. Let's go. Gideon shocked me. He really shocked me. He is usually the easiest boss that I face during any of these runs. But this time, he was causing me a lot of problems. I think because I'm not close combat, I'm also using magic. So it's kind of difficult against him. I don't know why. Oh no, we're not hitting him, we're not hitting him. Alright, alright, we need to change the game plan. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm a magician too, you know. He's gravity man. Oh, he ain't stunned? He doesn't get stunned, apparently. Apparently he doesn't get stunned. What the hell is this? Oh my god, you pig. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, why did that take so long? With Gideon out the way, we are down to the last two bosses and then our journey can finally come to an end. Hold on, holy, 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 holy. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, my time. Oh, what a, what a fail. Oh. Why did I do barely any damage? What the f What's all that about? Hey, help me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, hold on. Oh my god. You're a tryhard. One more should stun him, right? No, it doesn't. Everything should be able to... Oh no, run. Ah, he's done it again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why not? Oh, mad. Yes! Second stage, second stage. Come on. Oh! After all of that, right now, standing between me and becoming the Elden Lord is Radagon. And I have come too far to let him stop me. Pause. Oh no. Oh Lord. All right, stun him. He needs to get stunned. Oh my God. Does he not, does he not get stunned? Oh my god, he just blocks them. Nah, come on. Look at him, is he ready to block it? Ah, oh, this is no fair. This is no fair. Ah, I can't even heal in peace. Some of us will just go for this and just die. Oh, my timing. My timing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Rock sling is not gonna work. I'm telling you, he's gonna keep dodging that crap. Nah, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, he works there. Oh, look at him, he's ready to dodge. Oh, my, my dodging skills are so bad. And he just dodges it so effortless. When your main spell is gone, what do you do now? Oh, Meteor Avastel is so slow. Oh my god, he dodges that too. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. This fight was not it. If he stops my rock sling. If any boss stops my rock sling, if you like render it useless, I'm done. It's instant defeat. He blocked a lot of my attacks. My meteorite of Astel takes way too long to use anyway. I'm sorry, I just have to call it quits with this one.